right? This is about his experience on the show. Let's let's not talk about the relationship so much. Let's, let's look, focus on the dancing. You know, in this season, we saw our first real life couple with Sharna and Brian um, dancing this season. Do you feel like they were at an advantage or a disadvantage being in a relationship um, on the show? Um, for, at least from the judges perspective, at least for me, mm -hmm. it made no difference whatsoever. I think, um, I think it was, I think it was sweet. I thought it was nice. I, I really enjoyed seeing them, their dynamic, the dynamic together. And it was, mm -hmm. I, I really loved it. Um, I think that perhaps there was a little bit too much focus put on that from, from not from them, but from other people, just like, like it's the relationship was, you know, I get that it's the story for like the first week or two, or maybe even three, but then after that, it's like, okay, this is, this is about Brian, right? This is about his experience on the show. Let's, let's not talk about the relationship so much. Let's, let's look, focus on the dancing, right? And, mm -hmm. and, um, but I, you know, I think that that was, that was part of it though. I think there was a little bit of, I don't know, uh, at least for, yeah, I don't, I, I think he just, I think he just kind of hit a little bit of a plateau there. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, but I think the relationship part of it, for me, I loved it. I love seeing that. I think they were really cute together. And mm -hmm. he's, by the way, he's still in the audience. I see him, yeah. <laughs> every week he's mm -hmm. there and I'm like, that's awesome. He dressed up like Len Goodman uh, the week before and he had a five. He's like, this is terrible. <laughs> and I was like, yo, that's the way, like, that's, 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 that's awesome. Like, I, I really commend him for that because, you know, some people can get, they can get really bitter and really think, you know, about a certain way, feeling robbed. Like, mm -hmm. And they, and then it, it turns the whole experience into this negative thing mm -hmm. when you could just, like he's doing, he's doing it with grace and with a, with a little bit of a, a smirk and a laugh and having fun with it. Um, I think, I think they're doing great. I think they're handling it fantastic. Totally. If the show was to end tomorrow, who do you think should take home the Mirabal tro trophy? Uh, I don't know, man. It's it's so. It, I'll tell you what was interesting last night, though, was seeing the relay with JoJo, Olivia, and I, mean, I think it was Jimmy, mm -hmm. Allen. Um, you know, when you see them all dance back to back to back, you now we start to now there's like a comparison happening now, right? Mm -hmm. Because before you're just like, you're watching individual routines and you're kind of focusing on their individual personal best. But now when you see it back to back to back, it's like, I'm comparing you to that person now. Mm -hmm. And it, last night it was really like evident. It was like, Olivia is really good. Mm -hmm. sure. and, and I think all the judges, we, we were all a little bit like taken back, like, whoa, she's really good. Yeah. You know, when you put when you put everybody in comparison like that, so I don't know, man. We'll see. Iman's people love him. Mm -hmm. um, Amanda, she's great. Melora, Jimmy. Uh, man, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind Stuff of fun. anybody's anybody's game at this point. It kind of is. It kind of is. And I and I hate saying that because it's such like a cop out thing to say. Like it's anyone's game. Right. <laughs> but it kind of is. So totally. Do you think Julianne will ever come back to the show? Maybe. Maybe. You know that. That's what's the joy, the joy about Dancing with the Stars, you know, especially at least for Julianne and I, you know, we, we are just thankful, man. We're thankful for the show that gave us this amazing platform, these amazing opportunities in our life and this amazing relationship with these fans and mm -hmm. people who've loved the show for 15 years. And so we are, uh, we are, have, have always been open and like arms wide open to the show, you know, and they, and similar and, and vice versa. They've been always so gracious and kind to us. And so who knows? I can't believe it's November and the holidays are right around the corner, which is nuts. And I know that, right? <laughs> um, I know that you are kind of elevating traditional recipes this holiday season. So tell me all about that. Yes. Well, you know, this past, you know, doing quarantine and everything like that, I've been cooking with my girlfriend Haley and we've been calling it Hale's Kitchen. Do you see what we did there? I like it. Um, <laughs> yes, it's egg exceptional. Okay, too many, too many puns, too many puns. Mm -hmm. So for me, like cooking has been kind of a fun new adventure, you know what I mean, for me personally. Um, but it also, it makes me think about the holidays that are coming up, you know, all the different like family recipes and the nostalgia and the comfort that comes along with that. And um, so, you know, working with America's egg farmers, it's it's perfect because eggs are a key ingredient to all these family recipes, to all these things that we know, we know and we love. So, um, so yeah, so kind of 
reimagining certain family, you know, dishes and traditions. And for me, stuffing has always been like my favorite, food, like favorite dish um, during the holidays because it's kind of the only time that you have stuffing. I feel like exactly. And um, this one right here, as you can see, that I prepped as uh, you got the jalapeno cornbread stuffing, which yeah, that that's, that's perfect. It sounds delicious. Eggnog waffle cookies right here. You know what I mean? Like so many different dishes and, and encouraging people to basically like reimagine some of their family recipes and um you can tag me in them when we're sharing them together you can tag at incredible egg you can go to incredibleegg.org to learn and get more recipe ideas for the holiday season um but yeah it's it's the holidays it's november 2nd it's basically christmas it's basically Christina, we, we have to get ready